What's good, son? It's your boy Rosbo here, coming at y'all with a how to prepare for foot champs video. And today, we're just gonna basically be talking about how to prepare, obviously. And basically, you wanna you wanna have two teams for foot champs. I know it's like I'd rather just have one really good team. Right now, that's what I have. But I have enough coins, as you can see, to build another team that can be semi decent. But you don't wanna have one team and just continually go and buy fitness cards. Because as you can see here. They're kind of cheap right now, and we're going to get a little into what you should do with them in a bit. But you don't want to be spending a thousand coins every two or three games on fitness cards, because it's like, it's just cutting into your pockets. Let's say, alright, it's 900 right now, but it's going to go up. It's going to just cut into your profits. Like, say I invested in a combo or something. I unfortunately didn't, but say I made 50k on it, alright? Let's go ahead and look at him right now. Every time you buy a fitness card, it cuts into your profit because you're just buying it kind of for no reason except for having your team be more fit, I guess. But it, it doesn't really help. And also, for in terms of qualifying, you're gonna want to try to qualify early because people, it's like you feel like you're in a rush when you're qualifying late. Like right now, the requirements. Let's go ahead and look at them. Not all shoot. All right, now let's look at the schedule. I think it's the same thing. Details. Max 78. So you're just gonna want to put bronze players on your bench for your team. But yeah, you want to qualify early because qualify late. Everybody's rushing. You feel pressure. You don't feel as relaxed. Same thing with your foot chance in game. It's like you want to you want to spread them out. You don't want to do them all at once. Then you feel pressure. You get tired. And you're just not playing as well. And in terms of when you want to buy your team, if you haven't already, I'd buy it now. Because usually with foot champs, players drop a lot on Sunday. And coming towards the weekend league, like Wednesday or Thursday, they go up a lot. So let's say Isco, right now. Oh shit. Fuck, okay, fuck. I'm not Isco. You don't do Baran. I got him for 51k. I get he's pretty much going for the same price. But by Wednesday or Thursday, He's going to be up maybe like 10k or something like that. He's going to be up a lot more. Because people are going to need these players to be able to to do well in foot chance. Because nobody wants to go out there with some non rares who end up getting like silver 3 or something. Yeah, that's basically the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Crown, I'm a real prince.